Hello everyone, it's your host Christopher with Off Grid Unlimited and following our host Trey's everyday carry I'm going to go ahead and show you all my everyday carry and uh, break down what it is. So I'm just going to show you all first what all I carry and then I'm going to show you all what it looks like on me. So hopefully I do enjoy this video. If y'all would like to see more of these let us know and uh, more review of everyday carry items then just put it in the comment section. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Alright everyone, so I want to first start off by saying I do not have my tripod, so I'm going to be holding this with my hands. Um, we're going to start off on the left hand side and work our way across. Uh, so first off, we're going to talk about my watch of choice. My watch of choice is a Samsung Frontier 2. I think that is what it is. Um, I have a little uh, fabric uh, band from Amazon because the plastic one finally broke on me after a few years. Um, next is going to be my multi-tool. I carry a Leatherman Wave and I absolutely love this thing. I need to get the blade sharpened on it. Um, I use this all the time while doing heating and air and uh, really anything. Um, it's a great tool. I definitely recommend it for everyone. I've had this going on I think seven years, eight years now. So it's held up and I absolutely love it and use it all the time. Next is going to be electrical tape. Everyone should carry electrical tape because if you get a deep cut um, need to tape something down it is essential to have tape and I'd much rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it so this is just electrical tape I'm uh, nothing special about it <clears throat> next up is going to be my earbuds I have the Samsung wireless earbuds um, as y'all can tell I'm mostly surrounded by Samsung so open these up I've had these for I think two years now and I'm glad I purchased them they were a great investment Next, a lighter. I typically carry a Zippo. I have two. I have this silver one and an orange one. I need to replace the flint on the orange one, so recently I've been carrying this. Nice to have. <clears throat> I don't smoke, um, so a lot of people are like, why do you carry a Zippo if you don't smoke? Well, I just like being prepared, I guess. Next are my car keys and other keys that are essential for me. Uh, I drive a Jeep, so as you can see, there's my Jeep key. This lanyard I made... Uh, I got a little kind of bottle opener multi-tool thing right here with the uh, flathead on it. So it's pretty nice. Um, lanyard, paracord, I made that. And then this is just a little belt loop clip that I found somewhere. I forgot where I got it, but I've had this set up for a few years and I absolutely love it. It's not too heavy. I can clip this on my belt if I, if I feel like I need to be able to make sure that my keys don't disappear out of my pocket absolutely love it um, next up is a marker of some sort this is a I think a Milwaukee one yeah Milwaukee um, nice to have a marker I guess <laughs> uh, a pin type flashlight this is a Nebu and this thing's actually pretty nice uh, we got this sent to us um, to review a little while ago and potentially sell um, and just haven't really fully set sail on the whole adventure quite yet I guess we would say uh, but this light is nice I will have one complaint that it does use batteries a lot I'm more of a stream light kind of fan so uh, next is a notepad I love the writing rain just because I don't have to be worried if my paper gets wet my phone is a Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, with a OtterBox protective case um, that's all there is to that um, typical everyday carry pocket knife is going to be a Benchmade I got for Christmas from my brother Michael. Um, I love this thing. It needs to be sharpened again, but it is nice and it has a really good grip to it. It's like a rubberized grip and then kind of like a little bit of a hard plastic. So at first it's a little bit weird getting used to pulling this out of your pocket because it kind of gets bound up, but after a while you get used to it and it's really nice. My wallet is going to be a Maxpedition wallet with a coin pouch on it. I cannot tell you how many times I've used this coin pouch. Um, so it's a Velcro, so it's not the stealthiest, and you can see it carries lint very well. <laughs> but I love it, and I uh, probably wouldn't change it for hardly anything. My belt is a just a good old leather belt that I buy from a... Um, my brother, who owns a leather business, um, so if y'all if y'all are interested, I'll put his plug in real fast. Poop right there. 
Check him out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and his own website. He sells leather goods. But now really the main thing that you are worried about and probably interested about is my everyday carry gun. So I'm going to end this clip and we're going to break down more of the gun. Alright everyone, so I went ahead and pulled the gun out of the holster um, and uh, cleared the weapon. I'll show you all that it is cleared. As you see down in the chamber, there's nothing. Oh, if it'll focus. Alright, it's not focusing. But there's nothing in this gun. It is a cleared gun. Finger test. There's nothing there. Um, but this is a MMP Shield 2.0 chambered in 45 caliber um, and the reason I chose this gun is because it is stupid thin I'll show you how thin it is with the ruler here in a second um, but I chose it because it's thin it's light and it just feels comfortable in my hand um, that's kind of what y'all can see how thin it is I don't have any upgrades on it this is the the standard sights that come with it I don't have any complaints about them uh, but it is a great filling gun for myself. I have relatively big hands. I mean, here, I'll give you an idea. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand, but my hand length is just about seven and a half, and my width is about nine. So I got pretty big, pretty big hands. I think palm is about four inches wide. Pretty average big hands, I guess you would say. Um, so the gun feels really good. My ammo of choice is, I can't think of the name of it. Hey, let me see if there's if it's on the bullet so I can give you an accurate. This is a SIG 45 auto self-defense round. Um, I don't have the box with me or I would show y'all, but uh, this is a self-defense round uh, hollow point. And it's a 45, so you know that it's, it's going to do damage if I have to use it. Um, my holster is an appendix carry from Bear Holsters in Kentucky. Uh, went with a mom and pop shop to help support my local businesses. Um, and I don't really have any two, any complaints about it. They offer multiple hole adjustments up and down. So if you're, uh, you know, you, you kind of need it to go down some, it can't up a little bit. You, you can too. Um, but I'll try to show you all this real fast. I'm going to sit y'all down and show you how actually thin this gun is. So it is it is cleared just to make sure. So the actual thickness of the handle will mark it just shy of an inch. Thickness of the upper barrel is three quarters of an inch. So the gun is very thin all in general. And that's what really was my selling point for an everyday carry. And as y'all can see in my hands, how this looks with the pinky extension, it fits perfect. And it's a nice thin gun. So that's the reason why I chose it. I, I have no complaints about this gun. Every time I pull the trigger, I know that it's gonna go bang. And since it's a 45 caliber, it is 100% going to stop what I need to stop. Granted, I don't really plan on stopping anything. Um, not my porte, <laughs> we'll say. But uh, I would much rather just talk down the situation. With the extended mag, you get 7 plus 1 in the chamber. I only have 6 in here right now and none in the chamber. But you can squeeze 7 in there. And for your regular mag, you get 6 plus 1. Um, once you put the pinky extension on, you can get that last one, but without it, you are not getting that plus one down there. Um, so it's six plus one with the regular. And this is what it looks like with the regular one in. So, all in all, I love this gun. I've recommended it to a lot of people. It wasn't too terribly expensive. It's ambidextrous, so you just, uh, you can swap over your, um, mag release on either side. Uh, company Hive sells a lot of aftermarket parts for it. And I plan to uh, purchase an aftermarket picking extension for this host, or for this magazine at some point. So that's really all my everyday carry is. Um, hopefully you all did enjoy this video. The next clip is going to be me showing you what it looks like. All of the stuff in my on my person. 
Hey everyone, it's your host Chris. Um, I wasn't able to get my clip last night of my everyday carry on my person, so I just wanted to record this clip. It is the next day, uh, so hopefully y'all are okay with that. Uh, just keep in mind that everything's going to be exactly the same, like my Sharpies. I just have a bin where I just grab a Sharpie every morning and put it in my pocket. Uh, I don't have my Leatherman on me right now. I'm letting Michael borrow it up at the garage, so I won't have that, but I'm 100% sure I always carry it. Um, but without further ado, let's, uh, I'll go ahead and show y'all my everyday carry and what it looks like on my person. Um, I don't have my tripod, as y'all can tell, so uh, hopefully I don't mind too much. I'll move it all over a little bit. Yeah, like so. Um, but I'll just stand here and I'll, I'll do a 360. That way y'all can see what it looks like on me. Um, I just got home, so... And, I mean, most cases, I try not to turn real hard like this, just because, I don't know if y'all can see really, but there is a bulge right here. Yeah, you can see it. I can see it on the camera. There's a little bit of a bulge, but all in all, it's a very concealed weapon. Um, if, you, if you didn't know that I had a gun, you would not tell right now. Like, just walking, you can't tell. Um, but if need be, um, just to clarify... This gun is cleared, um, but all in all, I'm very happy with this holster. I love these holsters. Um, one thing that I always try to stress is, like, if I'm practicing with no magazine or anything, um, I'll just go ahead and take this magazine out so there's no confusion. Once again, it is cleared. I'll try to show you real fast. Finger check. There's nothing there. So. What I'll do is, is typically I'll have an empty magazine. Both of my magazines are loaded up, obviously. Um, but I'll just sit here and practice pulling it out and putting it in. With an appendix carry, if you have extra um, meat, I'm going to say, through here, uh, I would not recommend an appendix carry because it will pinch your skin between the holster and your gun. Um, so keep that in mind. Make sure that you check and you're sure. Uh, similar with uh, hip holsters, though, you know, you... I, I would still practice it, and I even to this day I still practice it, even though I don't carry hip. Um, just because appendix carry, sometimes it has its benefits and its disadvantages. Like uh, disadvantage for me is like sometimes when I sit too long, it pokes me in the thigh. I just gotta readjust my holster a little bit. Um, but you know, just practicing simple movements. Uh, another good thing you can do, once again, this gun is cleared, is just practice pulling the trigger. Nice and smooth. Uh, a lot of times what you can do is you can put a quarter on it and practice that trigger pull where it's nice and smooth. And most times when I, if I'm practicing drawing, I always want to emphasize getting space to clear. Because in a, in a tight situation like that, you want to make sure that you have the space. You don't want to be caught in a situation where, let's say somebody's right here. If you try to draw your gun, you're not going to have enough movement. Hip holster, even still with a hip holster, you might not be able to get it. So what I always want to emphasize is getting space. You know, getting space and then drawing. Taking steps back. Because you got to think your life is on the line at this point. You don't want to be the tough guy that pulls his gun like, What's up, man? What's up? You don't want to do that. You want to try to protect yourself, your family, your loved ones, and make that space. Back up. You know, your life is on the line. You don't have to be that tough guy. These are the times that you need to think smart, think think through it, you know, just go through it while you're practicing, even at the range, you know. Um, I use, what are these, How We're Late by Honeywell, the Impact Sports. You can turn these on, put them over your head, and you can talk to the person next to you while, while I'm sitting there pulling the, gun, pulling the trigger and the gun's going off, you know. You can be like, yeah, but, you know, pow, 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 Whoop. You know, so uh, just practice with your firearm. Uh, make sure that you are prepared. Uh, now, like I said earlier in the video, I do not have my Leatherman on me, so please keep that in mind. Uh, I will go ahead and take this off just to show y'all. So, there's my holster. And now for the rest of the pocket dump. Uh, I got a sharpie already. Okay. So, back, back right pocket. 
Got my Sharpie. I got my pen flashlight. And my wallet, I carry on my hip um, or carry in my back pocket. I try to keep my wallet relatively thin. Um, I would recommend that just because it can actually mess up your hip. My front right pocket, I typically leave my Leatherman on the bottom of my pocket and my pocket knife up top. Obviously, I don't have my Leatherman. Michael's using it, so keep that in mind. It would be in my pocket on the bottom. Left front pocket, electrical tape, lighter. That works. <laughs> and my earbuds, back left pocket, typically is my phone and my notepad. Uh, now my phone, I said typically because I do have the OtterBox, so I, I can have it on my hip. Uh, I try not to carry it on my hip while carrying my holster just because it's a chance of me getting caught up and uh, not being able to clear and get my fire on, firearm out correctly. Um, but hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Um, I know my EDC is a lot larger than what Trey's was in his video, um, but we all have the same mindset, me and my brother Trey and Michael, we all have the same mindset of protecting our family, um, protecting our property, and doing it the right way. We don't want to emphasize to people that you need to be carrying a, a firearm, you know. Do your research. Find the gun that fits comfortable to you. My gun, per se, is my preferred gun because it fits in my hand. I like how it feels. I pull the trigger and I feel comfortable. I use a 45 because in my, my opinion, I know it will stop anything. A lot of people have different opinions on calibers. Um, I don't have any qualms with any caliber. I don't dislike a 9mm compared to a, a 38, you know. Whatever you feel comfortable with, that's what you need to be carrying. If you are able to carry and you feel that you are mentally stable to carry. Um, I'm not going to dive any deeper in this. Hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If y'all did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe and share this video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.